The Lady in Red. Today I'm going to share with you how I created these beautiful images of this young lady. When she came in, she wanted something a little bit different, something colorful. Her favorite color is red. So stay tuned. Hi hey everyone, Dan Doak here, and I'm very excited you're with me here today. So today, we're gonna to be talking about the lady in red. I'm gonna share with you some of the equipment that I've used and how I photographed her. So, let's get started. First off, I'm gonna use the Godox SK300s. I'm gonna use three of those, and I'm gonna have them each on a basic stand. On two of them, I'm gonna have a set of barn doors, and what the barn doors lets me do is control the light. I can narrow the light or make it a little bit wider coming out of the reflector. I'm also going to be using two red gels. And for my third light, I'm going to be using a newer spot snoot. And what's going to let me do is project any pattern that I have, like in a cookie. And what a cookie is, is an example here. It comes in many different shapes. You can do trees, stars, hearts, something like that. And this one using today is just diagonal lines. So here I am in my virtual camera. What I'm going to talk about first is using a black background. Uh, if I used a lighter color, it might have been contaminated with some of the lights bouncing around. So using a black background will absorb any extra lights falling in. So first off, let me turn off the studio lights so you can see what's happening. I'm going to turn on my first light, which is one of the lights with the barn doors and the red gel. If you notice, the light is about 45 degrees behind her, higher, so it's just lighting her hair and her body. Now I'm going to add a second light on the other side, pointed at her, to do the same type of thing on the other side. Let me turn that on. So now I have two lights on either side of her, coming in 45 degrees, and lighting her hair. Let me show you a close-up. Here it is here. Again, the edge of her body, her arms, her hair all the way around, but no light is falling on her face. Now I'm going to add that third light, which is a spot snoot with that cookie of the diagonal lines. So I'm going to turn that on, and that's going to create the highlights and the shadows across her face. Right there. Let me show you a close-up. So one thing to keep in mind is when you do this, if her eyes are going to be open, you want to make sure that her eyes are in the highlighted part and not really in the shadow. We go back. So for quick review, we have three lights, two lights with the barn doors and a red gel, that spot snoot with that cookie, and a black background. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.